Hello everyone, this is Disha from Socially Sold and today I have 5 book recommendations that I think every psychology undergraduate should read. The first one on the list is Psychology by Sandra Shikleri, Jean Onan White and Girish Parmishra, the holy bible for any and every psychology student. This is considered to be the best selling textbook and we totally agree. The author uses a very engaging writing style and it has a very learner centric approach which means even if you are not a psychology student and you are still interested in learning and getting to know the subject this textbook has you covered it covers all your key concepts and research and the best part is every concept is you with an example from an indian context topics there are also certain topics such as culture and psychological processes the notion of intelligence from indian context health and healing in india and many more Now what sets this textbook apart from all the other textbook is that after every chapter you get a chapter summarization a discussion based questions and self assessing quizzes along with that this textbook also has a concept such as applying psychology in everyday life which suggests how you could apply these key concepts in your everyday life Now this textbook has various editions and I would personally recommend you two editions the first one being edition 5 published in 2017 and the second one is the latest one edition 6 published in 2022 both of these editions has covered all your key concepts and the research along with indian examples and from an indian perspective the second book on this list is written by Victor E Franklin named Man Search for Meaning Now this book was written by psychiatrist Victor Franklin and in this book he recalls his patients experiences in Nazi death camps and what lessons that they learned for their spiritual recovery. He claims that while we cannot avoid sorrow we can definitely find a way to cope with it, find meaning and also move on. He introduces a therapy called as logotherapy which believes that a human drive isn't really pleasure but to seek meaning in what it finds is meaningful. This wonderful book provides meaning for all of us to go beyond sorrow and find meaning in the art of living. The third book on this list is The Little Book of Psychology by Emily Ralls and Caroline Ricks. As the name suggests, this is actually a really little book. Only 100 and 28 pages and this book is great for anyone who is just starting to study psychology this book has covered the early psychological ideas and also the modern day research for all my undergraduate students this book has your jung your freud your maslow your wundt and many more this book is great for anyone who is just starting to know the subject and has actually a great brief explanation about all the key concepts and the most popular or perhaps controversial experiments that have been done in this field and it also follows by giving you the ethics that you should follow while doing such study for anyone this little book will not only introduce you to the key concepts but will also help you understand how far we have come in this field and also as humans the fourth book on this list is a book named the man who mistook his wife for a hat by dr oliver sacks here dr oliver sacks shares the experiences of the patients who are struggling with these often regarded as weird realities of neurological disorders here we have individuals who can no longer associate daily items or even the ones they love they often have violent tics or involuntary obsessions and these are and these people are often labeled as autistic or regard or retarded as one says while just totally ignoring the fact that these people are creative and mathematically skilled this book is an interesting blend of sadness plus inspiration and while each episode is very fascinating to read it is also very heartbreaking as many of these people suffer from memory loss tics and you know the basic understanding of um, loss of linguistic and not just that they are often aware that something is lost or something is incorrect which further depresses them so if you are interested in the field of clinical psychology or just knowing the relationship between psychology and one's own physical body you will enjoy this book the fifth book on this list is thinking fast and slow by daniel kahneman now this book explains how your brain has been controlled by two systems that are continuously competing with each other to have a control over your behavior and your actions 
which often leads to making mistakes in your memory, your judgment and decisions and what you can do about it. The author takes on a revolutionary tour explaining these systems. The first system being fast, intuitive and emotional and the second one being more slow, deliberative and more logical. This book explains how our thoughts are hampered with ignorance and prejudice even when we think that we are being rational and also provides you with practical strategies for slower and wiser thinking. For people who are pursuing psychology, you will start picking up on the basic thoughts that you might have overlooked considering why and how certain people behave in a certain situation and also in a manner that they do. This book provides you insights that assists you and also enhance your understanding for future study. Now these were my five recommendations for the undergraduate students. Comment down below and tell us which books would you recommend for other fellow undergraduate students studying the subject. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.